Shabbat Shalom, Mavorach, ladies and gentlemen. We find the most fatal mistake that Moshe makes in, in this week's Parashat Chukat. Instead of talking to the ro rock, because the Jews, Miriam had died and the Jews didn't have water, Moshe instead hits the rock. And it was a fatal mistake because God punishes Moshe and says, we find this in Shlishi, that by uh, Hashem el Moshe el Aaron, Moshe punished both of them because you didn't believe in my greatness to make me holy and sanctify my name amongst the nation of Israel. You will not enter the land of Israel, and this is called Me Meriva. So we could ask ourselves a very elementary question: Is that how could Moshe make such a basic mistake? the greatest prophet of all time, which was so sophisticated, he didn't... In making the Mishkan hundreds of times, it says, Ka'ashe Siva Hashem and Moshe. Moshe, throughout the Torah, always did his mission appropriately and exact. How did Moshe come to make such an elementary mistake of hitting instead of talking to the rock? And the answer is very evident because it says Moshe calls the Jews rebellious nation. In Pasuk Yud, Pasuk 10, it says the, Mo the Jews ganged up on Moses and Aharon. And then Moshe responds to them, Vayomer lahem shim'una hamorim. He says, listen here, you rebellious people. Hamin Do you want me to get you water out of this rock? So we see from Moshe's language and vocabulary that he was very, very irritated and angry from the Jews on their lack of cooperation. And the lesson in this week's Parsha is that it was only possible for Moshe to make this terrible mistake that cost him the entry into the land of Israel, which he prayed 515 times, only and only because of his anger. He lost control. And when we, even if you're the greatest prophet of all time, you're, even if you're Moshe Rabbeinu, when you lose control, just to let you know, Moshe only got really mad three times. But every single time that Moshe, we find in the Torah, got mad, he makes mistakes. Like later in Parshat Matot Mas'eh, when the Jews don't eliminate all the Midianite women that had caused the, the episode of Pinchas, we find that the laws of Tevilat Kelim also over there. We know every uh, metallic or glass vessel that we have, we have to take to the mikveh. But that law wasn't given through Moshe, it was given through Elazar. Why? Because he forgot the laws. So, three times in the Torah, we see Moshe gets angry, and all three times Moshe makes a mistake, and probably his most horrible mistake, which caused him not to be enter the land of Israel, was when he lost control and he started calling the Jews rebellious, we saw he was very angry. He uh, made the mistake of hitting the rock. So may Hashem help us to open our eyes that whenever you get angry, you should be assured that you're going to regret. Now it's not impo it's all, it's not it's almost impossible never to get angry, but at least we should go take a walk and uh, be very deliberate not to make decisions and speak to people because especially our spouses, our children, our parents, our friends and family because when we're in an angry mood there's almost a 100% guarantee we're gonna say hurtful and 
that's not what we're really all about. And the biggest lesson is Moshe, that he was able, only able to make this mistake because of his anger. Shabbat Shalom. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Shabbat Shalom.